Hey guys, so I was working um, on some stuff the other day and came across this issue where if you modify a variable, or, or in my case I was trying to add an item to an array inside a closure inside PHP, um, that modification isn't carried on outside of the closure. Um, and that kind of tripped me up and so I looked into it a wee bit and um, it turns out, yeah, that's the case. What's, what's actually happening is, is that the variable, in this case our array, gets copied when you when you use a variable or import a variable into a closure scope the variable is actually being copied so it's actually a duplicate um, rather than the, the variable itself which means that if we run this code just now what we find is that actually when you dump out the array it's empty there's nothing in it because this uh, although the array is being modified inside the closure uh, because this is a duplicate, it's not actually modifying the original variable. So, of course, the way around this is to use a, um, is to pass the the array by or pass the variable by reference. And if we do that, um, I don't know if you're used to this um, anonymous function syntax. You might have seen this in JavaScript land, but we're just executing an anonymous function here. Um, but what we'll do now is we'll pass this array by reference, and hopefully, what we should see when we run it now is that the <clears throat> the original array is being modified. Um, but this doesn't apply um, for everything. So another thing that I found out during all of this was that um, this only actually applies to variables that aren't objects. So when you pass an object into a closure or any function, uh, it's, it's kind of passed by reference by default. So you don't need to worry about actually um, explicitly stating that we need to pass an object by reference. So if I switch over to this example, we've got an object here, we've given it a name, and um, we're going to do the same thing in this anonymous function inside the closure. We're going to um, edit it, the name and see what comes out. So if we run this example, you can see that this <coughs> has worked successfully and without passing object as a reference, uh, we've been able to modify the object. And so, yeah, just something to look out for, something to watch out for, and um, hopefully you don't get caught out by this in the future as I did.